Welcome back to Paddy's Golf Tips. As an extension of that tip on trying to use your innate athletic ability, your dynamic swing when you come to golf. I've seen so many athletes, sports people come to golf and just lose whatever they had. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is Podrick Harrington. <laughs> In the end of the day, when you're swinging a stick or throwing a ball, as I've said before, you use the same muscles and the same sequence all the time. It doesn't matter what direction, what, whether you're throwing or swinging, you're going to have to use the same muscles, same sequence. In golf, the only thing that changes, and we're going to go through this, a lot, say tennis or baseball, your posture, your chest is up. In golf, your chest is down. That's the only difference. The hips work the same, the arms work the same. We just change our upper body torso to get the direction of the force going into the ground. So I'm going to show that as I go through. Remember, if you play tennis and you hit the ball, your driver swing should be at the same amount of intensity as your first serve in tennis. So if you're swinging in tennis at 95% on your first serve, that's the speed you should swing your driver at. You, shouldn't be, you should move the same, you shouldn't be any stiffer, you shouldn't be any stiller, it should be the exact same movement. So let's talk about tennis, and tennis is probably the easiest one, and, and one of the great things in this that we're going to explain here with the tennis is easier to show face control as well so this is a great idea table tennis or tennis are two of the best ones to show where the club face should be at impact so generally we're just going to talk about a forehand shot in tennis right-handed person i'll put the left hand on at times okay so if i'm hitting a forehand shot okay i'm going to pull back and pivot into my right side same as in golf pull back and pivot in into the right side okay I'm gonna lead in to my left side the beauty in tennis is you're allowed you're allowed to move your feet you can move your feet if you want in golf you should move your feet but if you want to step to get that move and you should practice that way so as I'm pulling back you can see the reverse stretch okay now as I come into impact right tennis I'm gonna come in I'm hitting a forehand shot that if I produce the racket at that position that's a straight shot in golf okay when I just tilt my body down. So if I go and hit a forehand shot that I want to hit level, I don't want to spin it, I don't want to put top spin or back spin, I want to hit a dead square, okay? Once I do that in golf, in that position, it's the same motion. So if I hit a tennis racket and I was trying to hit a tennis ball from the ground, perfect. That's my position. So every tennis player knows how to swing a stick. So if I was doing that again to the ground and just put my left hand on, we have a perfect golf position. So your hips should move the same speed, the same amount, your torso moves the same, your arms move the same. Everything should be the same as a tennis swing, but the direction is down at impact. So you have this right side is bent down to get down to the ground like so. Whereas in tennis, we'd be a little higher up because the ball would be higher. So that's the only difference is the ball is down in golf and you're pressurizing it down into the ground. Whereas in tennis, the ball is it could be up here chest high so your chest your chest determines where the racket is okay that's the only difference move your hips the same move them as aggressively move your torso your arm your wrist the same now the great thing for tennis players and there's a huge bonus for tennis players or table tennis players coming to golf if you want to draw the ball in a golf swing all that is is a top spin shot in tennis so as long as i come from up so if I want to create a lot of topspin, which would be a hook in golf, I start here and I come up through impact and you can see the racket is coming over, like in table tennis, it's flipping over the top, like so. So it swings under and up to get the most amount of topspin. That is a draw shot or a hook shot. You could overdo it, but at least know that you can do it. Okay, so if that's two-handed and I want to hit a topspin shot in tennis, that's a beautiful draw in golf. If I want to hit a slice in tennis, so I want to hold it, okay, that's a cut. So if I'm chopping in tennis up and across, I'm holding the racket open like so, that's going to create top cut spin. That's a cut in golf. Watch, same movement. Obviously, my chest is down to get the, the stick down to the golf ball, 
but it's the same movement. So every tennis player, if you can play to any level, if you can hit a top spin shot, you can hit a draw in golf. Now it might take you a little while to, just to get used to the club face. And I think that's one of the biggest problems in golf. Good athletes come to golf, they make an athletic swing, but the golf ball doesn't do what they want it to do. That's because they haven't got face control at that time. And the face control will come along as you play more and more. But what actually happens to a lot of athletes is because they don't hit the first shot well, they take out their athletic ability, thinking that I need to keep my head down or swing slower or swing still or keep my hips still. They take out the athletic ability to hit it straighter, which that's only gonna make them worse all forever. It's never gonna improve. Whereas they'd be better off leaving the athletic ability and just learning, draw, fade. That's a cut, like in table tennis, if you chop, that's gonna create a slice in golf. If you hit top spin, that's gonna create a draw in golf. That's all you need to know. In to out for golf, down and across for golf, there's your, down and across is your cut, up and over is your draw. To every tennis player should be able to play golf, but you have gotta keep moving the same way. Now, I have loads of equipment in here. It's no different for you baseball players. Okay, same thing. If you're a baseball player, you pivot into your right side, you step in and you explode up. Now my chest is up here. I do have a little bit of side bend in baseball because I'm trying to hit the ball up more. So, boom. So if I decided in baseball that I wanted to hit a ball on the ground, I'd make the same move. Boom, get down to it. So I'd actually recommend to everybody out there who's played baseball to a good level, Get your baseball ball out, baseball bat out and swing at a golf ball down there and get used to you don't have to hit the golf ball because the, unless you have a longer bat but swing at it and that's your golf swing the movement and if necessarily you can walk around and do it you can move that left foot you can take it off the ground because that would be more baseball like boom okay the exact same that way the extension out there you can see i've released everything big long arms out afterwards the bat is released past my body and all I do in golf is I have more side bend to get down to the golf ball boom this extends up this stays down that that's what gets me down there no different same muscles same sequence as any sport if I was throwing a javelin I pivot step in launch my chest would be up in golf that would be down that's the only difference, but it's the same muscle, same sequence, same pace. Okay, so do not change. That's evolution that we use those muscles in that sequence. We learned that thousands of years ago, throwing spears. So literally you're not gonna change that and don't change it when you come to golf. Boom, like so, perfect golf swing. Just copy what you know. Do not lose that dyna dynamic athletic ability or innate athletic ability. Don't sacrifice that because you'll need it down the road. And I guarantee you, as you get older and you want to hit a further, you'll definitely need it. And then what you really got to learn is where is the club face? Very much, a lot easier to learn that with a, it's tough with a round bat. It's a lot easier with a tennis racket. That would be square. So that's a straight shot. That's a draw shot. That's a cut shot. That's all you need to know. If you present that racket like that, you're going to chop across it. Okay, if you present that racket short, you're going to swing up, in and out. So you're going to swing from the inside to the out, which is going to cause it a draw. So all you need to learn is, how can I get my club face like that? How can I get my club face like that? That will create the draw, that will create the fade, and that is the normal shot, the straight shot. Okay, so for a good player like me, for, for anybody starting out, I'd say get it as exaggerated as you can, and then as you get better, I might go that much for my draw and that much for my fade and that much for my straight shot, okay? It doesn't need to be more than that, but for somebody starting out, exaggerate it just like table tennis, whip it over. Get used to hitting that big whip for a draw, get used to hitting that big chop for a slice. You'll learn where the club face is and that's really all you need to do is learn where the club face is and use your normal innate athletic ability to make swing that stick as pretty much as hard as you can.